Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers gathered this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. We once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, Andrew Kim and his companions, a most faithful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are being slain all the day. We are looked upon as sheep to be slaughtered. No, and all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed 
of when he comes in glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, the church celebrates St. Andrew Kim and his companions. Andrew Kim was a convert to the faith. He was also the first native priest in Korea to be ordained. He and his companions grew in their understanding of the faith and would eventually give their lives for the faith. Without a doubt, they and the 103 martyrs that preceded them understood not only the importance of the faith, but the risk involved in following Christ and making one's faith known in a world that does not accept or embrace the faith that we share and live. Their lives and the lives of all the martyrs throughout the ages call us to recommit ourselves to following Christ with an unreserved heart, knowing that faithful discipleship may cost us. It may cost us status, friends, family, or even our own life. Once we understand the level of commitment required to live our faith and commitment to following Christ, we remember the importance of the gospel today. We remember the call of Christ to live faithfully. And truly, we take up our cross and follow him. It is a cross of hope it is a cross that promises resurrection. And so may the cross of Christ lead us to the fullness of life. My sisters and brothers, with great faith, hope, and confidence, let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord this day. That the church, its leaders and people, may reflect the mercy and compassion of Christ, bringing healing and hope to the world each day. We pray to the Lord. That leaders of nations and leaders of peoples will respect religious freedom and work diligently to bring about unity and peace for all. We pray to the Lord, that all who live in assisted living or extended care facilities may be blessed with good health and always be shown compassion by their caregivers, we pray to the Lord, that those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord, and for those prayers hopes and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. O oh God, open the minds and hearts of your faithful people. Make us a living sign of hope for all who still seek new life in you. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Almighty God, look with favor on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. The blood of your blessed martyrs poured out like Christ's in order to glorify your name. In this profound statement of faith, we see your power at work as your strength, you strengthen our weakness and provide every grace necessary to bear witness to you through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so with all the powers of heaven, we continually worship you upon earth and proclaim without end, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask. By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, 
And as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Andrew, Kim, all his companions, with St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm, in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and join Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, let us once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. 
Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. Lord, nourished with the food of the valiant, and we celebrate the blessed martyrs Andrew Kim and his companions, we humbly ask that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth each day to love and serve the Lord.